Hello, I'm going to talk in this video about the IoT development framework for ESP8266. I am using the Node MCU model, which actually is a development uh, board. Uh, one of the cool things about this framework is that you can run on Windows, you have your own custom partitions table, you have your terminal or flash in the same place. One of the cons is that log compatibility with all SDK. Requirements Python 2.7 and JIT. Other links, I have the link of the complete manual, which I based a Python script with each in my drive file. Uh, complete manual, I will show you a little bit just uh, for the occasional purposes. So, uh, here are all the instructions that you can follow if you want to manually. Uh, this framework was developed first for ESP32, but actually could be used in 8266. And here is my drive file where I have the Python script that actually makes all the framework installation. There are going to be two files install mpy and ATAR, which is a ESP compiler. So just go to CMD, to your folder, and then just run the Python script. So I will go to Python, to my uh, folder, and I will run the Python script. It will take a while because the file is a little bit heavy. So firstly, it's going to be downloading like, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes. And then they will decompress the MySys terminal, which actually is the file we are downloading and decompressing. Then we will clone the ESP artist SDK and we will change our branch to 3.2. And that's done by the Python script, so don't have to worry about it. Okay, installation is finished. And we will go to Windows C. Here I have my Sys32 Expressive Terminal and all the default setups that have the Linux looks like compiler. We can open the terminal here in my GW, but I have in ESPR2 SDK the uh, Expressive Terminal.py that we actually I added on the installation. Menu. So, let's go to get started. Okay. And then project template. Just to make things more clear, I will show you the main file. It actually has uh, just printed the pipe, uh, sorry, the SDK version. The IDF which actually is taken from the JIT branch. So go to CD. Uh, sorry, uh, no, just make file here. Make mini config. Uh, make mini config is the configuration kernel for the ESP8266. We actually is useful to know where uh, the flasher going to download the compart and uh, other setup from libraries and and set up of the company config. Uh, I'm looking here for my account port but uh, actually having trouble so let me connect and disconnect again to see which is my account port. Okay I have the com5 which is my USB connected. I go to call zero flash config and change the port to com5. Okay I will change the SPI mode to then speed to 40 and size 4 megabytes. And I will to enable cancel that save. This option uh, is not necessary. So once it's done, just save the configuration and exit the terminal. Okay. The first time it's going to take a while because it's making the first time set up.
just when it's done, you can type a new make file, a new make uh, commentary, which is all flash monitor. All is just to all the changes take effect of the GN config. Flash is uh, for download the bin files in the microcontroller, and monitor is to see the debug uh, output of the microcontroller. So now it's building. And all the configurations that we have this up on the on the menu config are going to take effect here, and also all libraries are going to be first time set up here also. As you can see, when it's finished, the bin file that is what that is has been made from the uh, compilation is going to be downloaded here in this part of the flash. So it's flashing now, and later it's going to display the output of the monitor. Which actually is the code that we have seen before, SDK version 3.2.